Welcome back to Coding Goblin. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at Tailwind UI. I think it's about time we did a review for 2024. I'm excited. Are you excited? A lot of excitement going on. Oh, that's exciting. That's enough waffling. Let's look at Tailwind UI. Is it worth paying for? Is there anything new since the last time we looked? That's about it. So let's get on with it. Components. It has components. <laughs> Now, Tailwind UI is the UI component library built by the people that made Tailwind CSS. Wow, that's really good. That means they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, all right. And what they're doing is making a good product using another good product. That's two good products for the price of one. I've looked at a lot of Tailwind CSS component libraries recently. And what I'm starting to realize is, although most of them are very similar, they also tend to have quite big differences. For example, Daisy UI and some of the other ones have components that are broken down into smaller elements, I would say. So whereas Tailwind UI has pricing sections, header sections, for example, blog sections, they're more blocks on a page rather than Daisy UI, for example, which does have some sections like this, but it's more individual cards or accordions, whereas you're not gonna find just an accordion on Tailwind UI. You will find FAQs, which contains accordions, but they tend to not have the really small elements. So let's have a little look through and see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, it's got a lot going on. So let's just pick one at random that I haven't looked at before. Hang about. About pages. I've not seen this before. I've not seen this before. Okay, this is nice, isn't it? Very nice, very nice indeed. It says about page, but there's a lot there's a lot going on. It's more than about page, isn't it? I mean it's got a blog section in it. Do you know what I've realized? I feel like I'm coming across quite negatively, and I don't want to, because everything that I've been looking at, all of these different component libraries are amazing. I haven't come across one that I thought, no, this is rubbish. None of them are rubbish. But I don't know if it's human nature or something wrong with me, but I feel like I, I focus in on negative things, but I'm gonna try and cut that out. This is all good. This is really good. So there's a blog section at the bottom of an about page. You can just get rid of that if you don't want it. It's good, it's good. So I'm sure you've looked at all these components before, but let's have a look at the templates. I've not done a video about these templates. So this is new. I haven't really looked at these templates much. Catalyst, modern application UI components to kickstart your design system. So is this different to a template? Let's have a look. Immediately, there's no Vue.js, so that's not ideal for me. All right, so it's in development anyway. Modern UI components that are part of your own code base. Maybe we'll look at that in a bit more detail when it's completely done. For now, let's have a little look at a website template, personal website template. Let's have a look at this spotlight. As with Catalyst, it's not for Vue.js which is not fun for us. Well, me, I don't know about you. If you want to just bang out a website quickly, this is what you want. You just download the website template and then just change it. Let's have a look at the preview. I've looked at one of these before and it was really good. I can't remember which one. Better than anything I would be able to design myself. So this, yeah, this is nice. Nice, simple, clean. Pleasant, easy on the eyes. Nice little menu up here. That's nice as well. Oh, that's actually really, yeah, that's really nice. That's good, that's good. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Salient, some are prettier than others. <laughs> that is true. Okay, let's have a look at this. Nice, simple, oh, that's nice. I feel like that should be a component that you can use. It might be, to be fair. I've never seen it before though. Again, nice. Very nice. 
also should be a component if it isn't. Yeah, this is just really good, really nice. And can you imagine how much time this would save you? I, it's really annoying to me that this isn't in Vue.js. If this was in Vue.js or Nuxt, both Vue.js, but if this was in Nuxt as well as Next, I would just be using these for every single website. If someone at Tailwind could arrange that, that'd be ideal. Thank you. It's safe to say Tailwind UI is very good. I don't know if it's the best Tailwind component library, but it's got to be up there realistically. It's really good. The same people who built Tailwind CSS built this, so you can't really go wrong with it. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I wish that these templates were in Vue.js. That would be amazing. But to be honest with you, I use this so much. I use the components. It's amazing. I use it with my Laravel projects that use Vue.js and I love it. It's still the best thing I've ever spent money on. It's made me way more productive. It's incredible. Of course, other component libraries will also make you more productive than if you're not using one. I happen to really like Tailwind UI and I strongly recommend it. I've been using it for years now and I have no regrets about buying it. Not paid to say this, unfortunately. I wish I was paid to say this, but I'm not. I think it's time I give Tailwind UI a rating. I will, of course, be using the internationally recognized website scoring system, recognized in over 89 countries. What? 89 countries? That's over 80 countries. So, Tailwind UI gets a score of nine ferrets. Well done, Tailwind UI. That's a great score, a score you should be proud of. Now you're free to do whatever you want with that score, but if you're smart, you'll put it right here on your website with a link to this YouTube channel. So there you have it. That is my Tailwind, Tailwind UI review 2024, the end.